Hello again, it's April here and welcome to a very quick I'm feeling lucky video uh, where I pop into Google Earth and I find myself in a different location every time. This time I found myself next to a ghost in Hong Kong Island, which is an island just off of Hong Kong. It was really beautiful and I took a little while jumping in and out of the different kind of 360 degree spots on the map to try and find the perfect little landscape to doodle. And I ended up with this little view here which is kind of like trees in the foreground, city and sea in the background which I thought might be nice. I'm using a little bit of washi tape because I wanted to see how cool it would look when you like peel it off at the end. And I'm using the Mustery Mixed Media Sketchbook with my Holbein acrylic gouache paints. So I thought I would kind of go in and do like a little abstracty piece and it would be super fun and super quick and easy. But uh, as it turns out, I'm not very good at landscapes. I haven't really done many landscapes this year. I've done a couple and the last time I did it, I'm feeling lucky. I also did it in acrylic gouache and I thought it would be a fun little landscape, but I definitely messed it up. And it actually turned out to be one of my favorite paintings in my last sketchbook because I did this thing where I painted over with white because I hated it so much. And I was like, let's just tone this puppy down. And it actually turned out pretty well. So by the time I got to the sea at this point, I was thinking, hmm, this isn't going that good, but I'll just keep persevering. I really didn't want to use my colored pencils. I wanted to just kind of, I wanted to kind of just see how far I could take it with the paint. Um, I don't actually want to be like a painter, I, but I would like to learn how to use paint better rather than relying on pencils all the time. But when I got to the foreground foliage, my complete lack of patience definitely came into play. I'm like the most impatient person and I think when you're doing landscapes and stuff you really have to look at what you're doing and kind of you can obviously make it abstracty and you can and you can make it not even look like the reference like landscape I think has more freedom than say a portrait but when I was doing the foliage I was kind of just placing colors down and hoping for the best I did look at the reference a little bit more for the buildings and I tried to kind of place them where they were in the picture and I used a little bit of more abstracty kind of feel with the buildings because in the image there's like are probably a million buildings but I'm not gonna paint every one of them so I kind of just blobbed them down and I thought uh, at this point in the painting I definitely knew I was gonna go in with some colored pencil so I was kind of just laying down color and thinking it's gonna be fine I'm just gonna go over this so I was kind of relaxed just taking it easy and messing around with my paint and then here comes the little fix I was thinking, if you use this once, it's a fix, but if I use this technique twice, does it become a style? <laughs> Can I use this in the future and just say I was meant to do that? Um, because it actually is quite effective, so you pop down a whole bunch of colour like this, your eyes kind of burn because you're like, well, that's a lot of colour, and you just cover it all up with white paint. And it kind of puts this like tracing paper effect onto the painting, so you can kind of see a little bit of what's going on but everything's super muted and I actually covered this painting up way more than I did the waterfalls one um, in my last I'm feeling lucky and I like that one better this one I think maybe this technique isn't the best for it because there was quite a lot of foliage and by the time I started putting all the pencil marks in it did get a little bit messy and I think it had lost that foreground, midground, background um, kind of distance that you need to get in a landscape like this. So I think it's definitely a technique to keep in my back pocket, but if I really want to seriously get into landscapes, I think I'm just going to have to take my time and try and do a landscape properly. So I'm just basically using every single coloured pencil that I had on my desk trying to kind of put a little bit of texture into the foliage in the foreground and bring it out from the background. But you can probably see on the right hand side there where the foreground bush kind of blends into the mid-ground hill. Um, probably could have done that a little bit better. But at the end of the day it was just a quick little doodle in my sketchbook and it was pretty fun to do. I love doing these I'm feeling lucky. Uh, sketches so I'm going to continue doing them next year and we'll see where we end up in the world. 
So that was just a quick little video for today. Hope your week's going well and that you have a fantastic Christmas. And I will catch you in my next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.